go guys, it's Raul TV, Team R4UL, your favorite YouTube mechanic back again and what we've got here is a Mercedes A-Class, it's a 1.6 petrol but he's done it up like the AMG A45, okay, so uh, we're going to go ahead and change the front drive shaft on it, the driver side drive shaft snapped, so let's go ahead and change that, it's a 2015 plate one, there we go, that's the one, let's go, let's do it. Okay, the first thing what we're gonna do is is get the car on the ramp, which I have done there. Absolute mission of a job to get it on the ramp. And then we're gonna take the wheel off, yeah? Let's go. Okay, so the wheel is off. We'll get to the center nut after. Okay, what we're gonna do is, first things first, I mean, basically, it's dead easy job if everything comes off. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take that off, the ball joint nut, which is, I think, a 21 mil. So I'm going to try, I've already cracked it with a 21 mil, so it is a 21 mil. Let's take that off. Let's take that off and hopefully go from there. Everything should be alright. So far so good coming off. I don't want to jinx it. Let's go. Okay, as you can see the nut is off. What we're going to do now is we're going to give it a little hit there. Okay, on the hub, just there, where the ball jump goes on, just there. Give it a little hit. And hopefully it should come off. If you if you want, you can get some um, slide hammers and then use the slide hammer. But the way I've done it for the past 25 years, just one minute, you do is just give it a hit there. So there you go. That comes off. Happy days. We're gonna go around to this side, flick that cap off, take that cap off, and there should be a nut or something behind there. Hopefully, take that off as well. So we basically get a little screwdriver or something whatever you got and just just like that take that off okay after you take the cap off what we need is one of them a e24 star torques that is get it on there take that off whiz it off uh, or if you want you can jam something in there in the disc or you can get somebody to press the brakes for you Basically main objective is to, to stop that from turning the disc from turning the rotor from turning and basically take the center bolt off Okay, the bolt is off the center bolt is off what we're gonna do now is we're gonna pull the The wishbone down so it's off the hub. I mean two people job this one I would recommend you do it with two people one person to pull it down the other person to push it away if you well, obviously I'm gonna do it by myself but if you're not a mechanic and you're attempting it, two people will be better. So basically, I'm going to pull that down as far as I can with one hand. With the other hand, uh, move the hub out of the way and we'll go from there. Okay, as you can see there, that is out of the way. That's off from the hub. What we're going to do now is the uh, CV joint has gone inside. The drive shaft's gone inside. So I'm going to push the hub out of the way like that. Okay, and with the other hand, obviously take the uh, the drive shaft off. I'll show you guys one minute. Okay, so basically push the hub with one hand, the other hand, get the drive shaft off. This is absolutely gone. As you can see there, it's all dead. I mean, the drive shaft itself is all right. It's the inner joint that's collapsed. Been doing some handbrake turns, haven't you? Yeah, let's go. Okay, after we get the drive shaft, well, it's not supposed to come off, but because it's all collapsed and everything, it's come off. Right, okay, so what we need to do is we need to take this part off here. So that, give it a little hit, that should come straight off. It just slides onto the shaft, on the, onto the inner shaft, no problem. So we'll give it a little hit or a little pry, that should come off, let's go. Right, so first things first, what I'll do is I'll try to pry it off. Okay, I'm going to give it a hit, see what happens. Okay, as you can see there, I give it a little hit. With the hammer and the chisel, or with the uh, hammer and the, uh, where's the other one? There we go. That's what I did, I just got the pry bar in there like that. And with the hammer, I just give it a little hit. That's come away. All we do now is we can just take it off by hand. Nice and easy. 
There we go. Happy days. That comes off. Okay, there's the new one. We're going to fit it in reverse order. Basically, get it in there onto that. I put a bit of grease on there, you know, just to basically help it go on. And then we'll put the ball joint on, put the center nut on. That's about it. Three things basically. You take the center bolt off. Bolt. Sorry, I, I said nut. Well, bolt off. Take the bolt off. Take the ball joint off. And that's it. Just whack it off. It should come straight off. Okay, the shaft is on. I'm just going to put the ball joint nut back on. It's in there. Basically, just tap it in a little bit. It goes in. As for the center bolt, the original one had that E24, that one there. Okay, this one has come with a proper hexagon so uh, socket head. So I think it's a 27. So get a 27 on there. Just give it some, tighten it up, big time. If you want the proper torque settings, I mean, just check auto data, get the proper torque setting. But I've been doing it for the past 25 years and I'll be straight up honest with you. I just use the big, big bar on it, tighten it up, tighten it up as uh, tight as possible. And that's about it, job done, let's go. Well, that's it guys, that's how we replace the front drive shaft on the driver side that is, UK driver side on the on an A-class Mercedes. Well, this is a 1.6 petrol, but it's kitted out to be the A45, but <laughs> dead, dead easy. Basically, center bolt off, ball joint off, and it should just whack straight off, and that's about it. Anyway guys, I hope this video helps you guys out. If it didn't help you guys out, I'm sorry, try my best. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me, leave a comment in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time.